We're about to play Zelda. <coughs> so what can you tell us about the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest? Well, this is this is one of the attractions in Nintendo Land. This is this is one of our key games for Wii U, and and Nintendo Land, just like Wii Sports Resort um, did with the with the Wii Motion Plus, Nintendo Land is going to show you how to use the new gamepad. Think of Nintendo Land as a theme park. It's a Nintendo theme park with 12 different attractions. So one of the attractions we're looking at today is is uh, the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. This is shows an example of what we call asymmetric gameplay. With the new with the with the gamepad, because it's this integrated second screen controller, it'll allow two people to be playing the same game at the same time, but have completely different experiences. So we'll try it out in, in the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. For instance, in this game, the player with the gamepad will be shooting arrows. He'll be the archer. The other two players will have Wii remotes and they'll be wielding swords. It's a three-player cooperative game. Ah, and there we go. Sorry, guys. Man down. But that is Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, one of the attractions in Nintendo Land. This is another attraction from Nintendo Land. This is called Takamuro's Ninja, uh, Ninja Castle. Now, this is, this is a Nintendo property that may not be familiar to our folks in the U.S. because it was just released in, in Japan as the mysterious Mirasami Castle. But it is one of Nintendo's properties. But it's a really fun game. It's one of the attractions of Nintendo Land. Let me show you how it works. What we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to throw ninja stars using the integrated second screen of the gamepad. So I'm going to point at the screen. I'm going to throw a couple ninja stars. There we go. So I got my screen integrated. Now, now it, the art style on this is, I really like too. It's sort of this paper craft kind of look. And I'm going to flick stars, ninja stars at these guys. Come on. As we go through. All right, and see, I'm just sweeping. The, I'm just sweeping my fingers on the touch screen, and this integration throws stars into the background. What we're showing this year, um, we're showing the hardware in both black and white here at E3. We haven't announced what the final colors will be, but it's it's pretty common for us to to you know experiment with some different colors at E3 when we're first coming out. So. We'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see what the final colors are uh, when, when it's released in the U.S. Great, thank you. Yeah. Nintendo Land is much like the original Wii Sports was for the Wii console. It's many games within a game, and it makes full use of the new gamepad. It's interactive and hands-on, and the gamepad can become a ninja star, a bow and arrow. It's exactly the kind of games that families will want to play in their living rooms.